cold chain logistics now hitting up in the country. In this facility in Imus, Cavite, a 400 square meter room can store up to 50 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine. Part of the challenge with distribution is keeping the vaccines at ultra low temperatures. The facility we are in now is at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Almost all vaccine brands can be stored here except Pfizer, which has to be kept as low as minus 70. Owner Anthony Dizon, also the president of the Cold Chain Association of the Philippines. The government has not coordinated with us. The group has more than 80 member facilities nationwide. Instead of an extensive national plan, Dizon says, local governments are making arrangements to their members individually, like in Antipolo Rizal. Yung unang pinuntahan natin, kaya, siya, kaya niyang AstraZeneca. Uh, and the second one, kaya niya ang Moderna, which is negative 18 to 20. It would be more complicated if different sections of the country were to plan differently among themselves, only to discover at some point that the plans do not mesh together. Other cities have also started setting up their own storage facilities. The city of Manila, for example, has purchased its own ultra-cold freezers and refrigerators. Dizon says if only their group is tapped, the government could have spent the much-needed funds to buy more vaccines. Makakatulong sana kami kung sasabihin lang ng gobyerno na kailangan nila kami. Uh, we'd like to believe that we are doing this only out of a sense of patriotic duty. National officials assuring the public they are listening. While they have spoken to a number of third-party logistics companies, government will reach out to more industrial players. Sa kasalukuyan po, 28 cold chain providers na po ang nakausap at meron pa pong limang kinakausap. Because a crucial part of the rollout is making sure the vaccines do not spoil and people will get them in a safe and effective manner. David Santos, CNN Philippines.